Uh, look, I got some morning hair here. So um, I'm in the RV, got it over in the driveway, and I'm going to start the process. Uh, I don't know how it's going to go of uh, replacing the cooling unit on my refrigerator. So I've got the old Norco 1200. I'll show it to you in just a minute. But basically, I'm going to get rid of the old cooling unit that, that is a fire risk. It's had recalls. It doesn't really work very well. And we're going to replace it with a new one that is the Amish built compressor. I'll show that to you here in a little bit. So here's the uh, their fridge. I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, it's just a standard four door Norcold. And um, there it is. It looks like it's built into the motorhome because it certainly is built into the motorhome. And so, you know, one of the, a lot of people with these things, they will replace them with residential refrigerators. And so I'd have this big stainless steel thing sitting here. Um, and, but there's a few issues with that. First of all, we got the furnace underneath, so we probably would have to do some interesting stuff to lower it and to make room. Good chance the cabinetry would need to be modified just a bit. And then there's the issue of size. It will not come in that door. And so we probably would have to snap a windshield out and it'd just be a really big deal. In fact, now that I'm looking at it with that windshield, that TV might even be in the way if I tried to get a residential fridge in here. So I don't know how the hell they would do it. So anyway, we're going to avoid the entire problem by simply putting a new cooling unit on it. All right, so coming into the garage here, this is the new one right here. Um, and uh, this is going to go up against the back of the fridge, obviously. But down here, we've got a compressor, all right? And so we're going to be switching it out from the old uh, combo unit. It's a hybrid that goes between either 120 volt electric or it will do the, uh, the LP, propane. So this one is not going to do either one of those. It's going to be a 12 volt electric. It'll literally run right off the batteries um, and it should work out really well. It doesn't require very much power at all. It's supposed to work really a lot better than, than the original and quite just really, really good. And plus it's compressor. I mean, it's hard to beat a compressor. Okay. It's also got no fire risk. So coming up here on my workbench, this thing comes with a few things. We've got the uh, thermomastic here. This is to provide the, the seal and the conduction between the actual cooling unit and the actual fridge box. This thing is going to be mounted on the inside for airflow to keep it from frosting up. We've got some foam, which we'll get to later, some screws, some tape, and some instructions. Now, one thing that's interesting here, um, and I assume that others will be dealing with this uh, eventually, but I've got instructions here. I'm going to have to go and scan these QR codes or go online because I got some videos here to show me how to do this. And I've also got this thing about control board hookup. However, I'm going to have to verify this to make sure I know what I'm doing. This unit, I believe, is supposed to come with a new control board. Um, so it's either going to be in here or it's in there. I actually don't know what. I'm going to have to verify that before we do anything. But um, this unit, their, their newer units are supposed to come with a replacement control board. That way it's not going to throw error codes at you all the time. It used to be that these things would work great for people, but the, the main LEDs uh, on the front of the fridge would be popping an error and because it doesn't see both sides of the circuit anymore. Whereas, uh, so now we've got a new control board that will not have that problem. Okay, back inside. So... Basically, what I'm going to do now is kind of figure out what I'm going to be doing because this will be interesting. I'm going to basically show the raw setup here and I'll try to document it as I go because I've never done anything like this before. I've done some stuff in this motor home and I figured it out for the first time. So I eventually will figure this one out. It just might make, take me a little bit longer because I've never done something like this. I am not an electrician, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Wish me luck.